Penny here at Kelb Sparkles. I'm about to do just a little unboxing. It's just a little something that the children got me in the last few days um, to help, which I've had my eye on because I've seen other people having this same product. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a regular watcher, viewer, then thank you for putting up with me and coming back to see the madness that is me. Right, so let's get on with it. It is a new easel. Now, this has been in the work, was it from the works? It was £15, and as you can see, they did have a sticker there. And then they've put this one up the top because it's gone up to £18. But it is still a really good deal. This size of this is bigger than the laptop tray that I was using. Um, it says on it it's suitable for A3, easy, easel, ugh, easy angle adjustment, beechwood construction. It says it's 45, 47 by 34.5 centimetres. And in inches, that's eight and a half by 13.8 inches. So, I have had a look because I was in London. I wasn't going to wait. So, let's do it. I'm not going to lie to you. You can see it's ripped there. It's ripped on the other side as well. Literally just tore the whole thing off. But let's be honest, it won't go back in the box. But let's get this beauty out. So... Here we go. Now, it's a bit loud, isn't it? The back of it. Oh, gosh. I am so sorry, guys. This is the back, the frame part of it, which then has... Ow. Just poked my elbow on the corner, which does have the effect. Um, I'm going to do it this way so you can actually see it, guys. But this, see if I can lift you up a bit. I think that's the highest you go. There you go. This here is the area that you can do your paintings on. And you literally, that's the highest. And it goes in steps going all the way down to so. So it's a little bit more angled but a little bit more flat if, if that makes sense I don't know how it's not such a steep angle but yeah that's what we've got now I'm gonna try it and see how this goes now the one that I had before I had about this much space so this extra is gonna be amazing for me now I'm going to get down my grey vase, which is what I'm working on at the minute. And as you can see, the whole canvas doesn't quite fit on. But the... That is all I've got left to do. This bit does. Now I've got some clamps. These little things, I've had them for ages. Good old pound shot. Oh, and I can't, how do I attach it? Oh, so I could attach it at the sides. And these are pretty good clamps actually, be it they're only cheapy ones. But that stops it. Maybe I should take the hanger off. Now, I've got to say, this canvas is gorgeous to work with, but it's got a ton load of extra glue at the edges. But as you can see, now this is a 40 by 30, a 50 by 60 canvas. But as you can see, there's lots of space here. You have a ledge at the bottom that you can put whatever you need to put on there um this hangs quite nicely over the 
side of it. Now, I have got some other clips, but I can't find the other one. Which are these? <laughs> these sunglasses. Now, these, I don't know if I'll be able to use on here. The thing is, it's got a lip on the end, on the edge. So, no, I'll have to use these ones. But these clamps, as you can see, are holding it pretty firmly. And obviously, to work on, it's going to be... It's going to be an easier angle so that I can don't you don't get if you're sometimes when you're doing one flat it may it's almost like you end up with your shoulders and your neck hurting where you're leaning over. I do qu quite a bit of diamond painting sitting in my set sitting on my settee or if I'm having a really lazy day I'll go to bed. Uh, and sit sit on my bed and do it and this will fit lovely on the bed now it has got i'm pushing it up and down it has got let me take this off and i'll show you underneath but because it has got rubber feet on it which will stop it from sliding now this is sitting on gloss paper card and it's pretty sturdy so let me just close this up and I'll turn it over. And as you can see, it does have little rubber feet on it, which will help it stop sliding everywhere. And it is very compact. Like you could, I can slip this but down the side of my sofa. And as you can see the lip a bit better on this angle. And if you are working, it depends on how you're working, it, you could actually have your diamond painting sitting on that step if you've got it rolled up like me. Or if you use a light pad. Now, I don't use a light pad. Um, I have LED light that shines sort of at the back onto it. That your Your light pad would sit nicely on there. Now, let's measure it to see whether it's true to size. If I can find the tape measure, because I did put it into this drawer. I've had a rearrangement of everything. Now I can't find it. I'm actually going to have to get off my bum and look in the drawer because I'm sure I'll put it in here. Yeah, in the drawer underneath. Now, the box said that... This one was 47 by 34 and a half. So, it's actually just under 46 and a half. And the measurement this way is 34. So... You lose half a centimetre out. It also says, what does it say in inches? 18.5. Yeah, you lose about half a centimetre. Which is, is not too bad. But I'm going, I'm looking forward to using this. Because like I said, I've had, to, what I had, to, I had a smaller surface. So it was difficult to do, or not difficult, but awkward to do. The bigger size paint is anything over 30 by 40. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do some diamond painting a bit later when I've done all my bits and pieces. And I'm going to give it a go. Um, see how it works. Hopefully it works amazingly. Like I said, I do have a little one, but it's, it's not... Um, it's not big enough. Not big enough for what I want it for anyway. Um, it's brilliant. It's seen me good for the last six months on the little paintings. But now that I'm doing bigger paintings, it's um, it's it's not so helpful. We'll turn this loud. So, yeah, I've, like I said, I know Rebecca at Admiral Zest has one of these. Um, she uses it all the time from what i understand so yeah we'll give it a go and see how it goes 
and then go from there. Um, I don't have the space in my home for a big drafting table. I do like to work on an angle because it does help with your neck and your back. So we'll see how it goes. We can only but try. So that's me done for the moment. Like I said, it's from the works. It's £18. It was available online, but we just happened to be... I was in London yesterday with the family. Yesterday, I was in London on Friday with the family. Um, and we were passing the works and I was like, oh, let me go and actually... Sometimes you want to actually see the product. Um, I have seen Rebecca's, but she's usually got a diamond painting on it. And I don't know why I, a stroke, but it does feel nice. <laughs> That's what I mean by the madness. But no, very happy with it. I will, at the moment, I am going to not give it a rating out of 10 because I'm going to see what it's like to work on. Obviously, they've still got many paintings that are way too big for this. But we'll, um, we'll reserve judgment until I have a go later. And then I'll let you all know how it went. But for now... I'm going to skadoodle off. So thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. And any comments, if you use an easel, please let me know what type you've got. Um, if you prefer to work flat, let me know. And just just so that, because everybody works differently, so, so we can sort of gauge an, I gauge an idea of what um, how other people work. I'm always open to learn new things and get more tips and tricks from people so yeah if you like it give us a thumbs up if you're a newcomer watching and you're happy with my kind of videos you like my kind of videos please subscribe you'd be helping my channel grow which i'll be extremely grateful for and if you hit the little bell icon i don't know if that's a little bell i'm actually looking in the camera does that look like a bell Oh, that looks like anyway stop flapping penny <laughs> um if you hit the little bell icon you'll hear a ding when i upload new videos and you'll see so you'll get the notification but for now guys i'm off i'm going to put the next lot of washing on so have an amazing day try and get some diamond painting in because we all know it's like medicine and so I will speak to you all soon. Bye.